Hello everybody, welcome to 2021 and this information session where you get to meet some of the teachers and get to know a little bit more about what is expected during the course of this year. I want to start with our vision, which speaks about a positive attitude, it speaks about being kind and respectful, and it speaks about each individual being encouraged to participate and reach their potential. And that's really what we're about at Camps Bay Primary. And I hope that that is going to apply to each one of our learners this year as we tackle what is obviously going to be a challenging year. And speaking of challenges, we obviously know that COVID is going to be with us for some time to come. And we are doing everything we can to make the school as normal, but as great as we can. And we know that COVID has had a significant impact on our learners, and we are doing everything we can to minimize that. We also have uh, the process of SGB elections um, coming soon and information to this effect has been sent out. And I want to really urge parents who are interested in making a contribution to our school to put their names forward or make themselves available to stand because we need the expertise, uh, we need the assistance um, and we look forward to working with a strong SGB as we tackle uh, the next three years. Uh, if the SGB is not your thing, perhaps you'd like to be involved on the PA where you get to work with other parents uh, in fundraising and in projects that assist the school. And I will be meeting with Dr. Laura Chella in the coming week to discuss ways in which uh, the PA are going to get more involved this year. So there's lots of opportunity for involvement uh, and we really are grateful for your support. And we hope that this is going to be a really good year in spite of the challenges that we are facing. We must remember that as we move along, we are adapting and we are learning. And that is a positive process. But we do hope that the impact that COVID has had on us is going to become less and less as we proceed through this year. And that we will again be able to uh, enjoy our community in the way that it should be enjoyed. Thank you very much. phase which is from grade four to six we have six subjects um, English home language first additional language which is Afrikaans I would just like to inform parents especially the parents of foreign learners there are no exemptions for Afrikaans that means that every child needs to do Afrikaans as a first additional language but there is a concession on um, the final end of year mark then we have mathematics, natural science and technology, social sciences, history and geography, and life skills, which is made up of four components, which is phys ed, and personal social well-being, visual arts and performing arts. We also offer um, Isit Kosa as a second additional language. That is not part of um, the CAPS curriculum and it's a language that will be assessed twice a year. And then the instructional hours per week in the intermediate phase is 27 and a half hours. Parent Portal. All parents who still need to register can email computers at campsbayprimary.co.za for instructions. And what will you find on the portal? Newsletters that were emailed and your child's personal information. But most importantly, it is where you find the termly learner assessment reports. Right, Google Classroom. Um, I'm sure that many parents are now familiar with Google Classroom because I'm sure that was our saving grace during the lockdown. And Google Classroom is Camsway Primary's academic online platform. Um, we would like to encourage all learners um, to have access to this platform. Um, they all received an email, so they just would need to accept the email. Um, there are discussions underway to permanently integrate this into our academic program. Um, was the vision um, for the school is to communicate all academic related content via this platform and um, not just to use the Google Classroom um, during the lockdown period. So watch this space. Just a little bit on assessments. First of all, there are two components to assessments. The one is informal assessments. Um, these assessments the teachers use to informally assess the learners. And the reason why they do this is that during this time, the teachers are able to design intervention strategies um, to help the learners before they do their formal assessments. Formal assessments, this is used for progression and promotion. 
um, progression, meaning um, to see if they can move on to the next grade in the foundation and intermediate phase. And then promotion means that they'll be promoted in the senior phase. Right, foundation phase, um, they do continuous assessments and all tasks that they do uh, have a 100% weighting. Intermediate and senior phase, they are set tasks and it's very grade specific. Um, parents will receive or should have received already a term assessment planner which plots all the assessments for the term. At the moment now we are still waiting clarity on the overall weighting of tasks. Um, in previous years, that was before 2020, the weighting in the intermediate phase used to be 75% for school-based assessments and 25% for the final year test. In the intermediate phase, it, sorry, in the senior phase, it was um, SBA school-based assessments 40% and the final year test which was 60%. Last year, because due to um, um, the academic year that we had, um, that was revised and SBAs were 80% and the final was 20%. We're still waiting on clarity from um, the DBE on whether it will be 80 or 20 or if we will revert back um, to the normal weighting as we had in 2019. Academic focus after COVID, um, at the end of 2020, our teachers conducted an extensive analysis of results and the learners' understanding of the specific subject. We looked at the strengths and the areas of concerns and the present grade um, used the analysis of the previous grade to inform the 2021 planning. And our main focus this year will be the gaps in the languages and in mathematics. SBSD is the school-based support team. The primary purpose of the school-based support team is to provide a structured support system for teachers and parents when students are experiencing difficulties, whether it is academically or emotionally. In the foundation phase, the learning support teacher is Ms. Julie Skivington. In the intermediate and senior phase, the learning support teacher is Ms. Anita Portgitter. We have two intermediate facilitators, Ms. Graham and Ms. Manan. We also have a school counsellor, Mr. Ferreira. The importance of communication. We believe in the importance of maintaining and constantly improving communication with parents. We believe in developing an open and inclusive relationship with you. Should you have a query involving your child, please contact his or her class teacher first. Then the grade head, then the phase head, myself or Ms. Hamber in the intermediate and senior phase. Then the deputy head of academics, Ms. Fasahi, and then Mr. Story. The grade heads are as follows. In grade R, Ms. Lyons. In grade one, it is shared between Ms. Brownlee and Ms. Yankalovitz. In grade two, Ms. Burns. In grade three, Ms. Swart. In grade four, Mr. Lewitz. Grade five, Ms. Gill. Grade six, Ms. Weldon. And in grade seven, Ms. Hamber. I am Mr. Lewitz. I am the class teacher for grade 4L and I will, I'm also the head of grade for this year and I've been involved in education for 16 years. I've started my teaching career working as a missionary in Africa for two years. I've been married for seven years to the love of my life, Anina. We have been living in the Western Cape for the past 13 years and I've been part of the Camps Bay family now for the past six years. And my great philosophy of teaching is to teach to equip and then send out to make a difference. Hi everyone, um, I'm Miss Pickett. I grew up in Health Bay and I went to Camps Bay High School. Um, I have been teaching at Camps Bay for eight years and the reason that I became a teacher is I have a love for children and helping grow young minds. Uh, hi, I'm Mr. Schenk, the grade 4S teacher. I started working as a gross motor skills educator um, at several schools in the southern suburbs after I got my sports science degree and then I realised that teaching was my passion so I started my PGCE in 2017 and I finished it at the end of last year. 
so I moved on from being the school sports coordinator to now a grade 4 teacher and I'm super excited to get this year going. Grade 4 for 2021. I am Mr. Lewitt. I am also the head of grade for this year and I will be taking you through the information. You will see that there are various other teachers that will be teaching your children throughout the year. Uh, it is myself, Ms. Pickett and Mr. Schenk as the class teachers. Then there's Ms. Selepe that teaches Isi Kosa, uh, Ms. Manan that teaches life skills, Mr. Graham that teaches art, Mr. Sass that teaches PE, Ms. Greivenstein that teaches computers and Ms. Lumley for library. Ms. Potgieter is involved with learning support and then of course Ms. Abrams with music. The subjects this year, it is a bit of a change and it is a bit different than what you were used to from last year. We have got English, Afrikaans, Mathematics, Natural Science and Technology. Social Science has been split into two different facets. Uh, on the one side we've got the history and on the other side we've got geography and then of course there's life skills but life skills has got three different components that get that together form the greater life skills mark it is arts drama and music when it comes to the homework policy and the homework for this year every child was required to bring a homework book to school this homework book is just to write down daily homework where we will be pasting in test notices. But please note that the test notices and important information like letters that go home will also be placed on the parent portal as well as on Google Classroom throughout the year. Learners will be asked for you to please check the homework book and make sure that the test notices get signed. Every week there will be a certain level of homework that will be expected and given to the children. Every Friday there will be an English spelling test that will be written and every Wednesday there will be an Afrikaans spell toots. English reading, there will be about 20 minutes from their reading books that they will have to do every day. This is just a way for them to improve on their vocabulary just to make sure that they start practicing their grammar skills a little bit. Then, of course, also a big part of their homework is studying for tests and then practicing their orals, even though the orals will be written in class. So the parent portal and Google Classroom is also a very important tool when it comes to their homework. So we want to ask that you would please check the parent portal regularly to receive test notices and assessment instructions with regards to orals and other projects that will be done here at school. Speaking about projects, there are two major projects for the year in grade 4. Our first term sees our history project, where research will be done at home, posters will be done and made here in class, and then of course there's the life skills project in term 3. Now other projects that might pop up throughout the year is our orals. The orals will only be practiced at home with cue cards. The orals themselves will be done in class under the guidance and assistance of the teachers involved. And then of course there's also the NST practicals. There will be a little note that goes with you so that you can see and make sure that your child brings all of the necessary stuff to school on time for the practical tasks. The assessment planner. Now if a child is absent uh, we want you to know that the child will have to do the assessment upon their return to school. If the child is absent for an extended period of time and they might miss two or three assessments in that time period, we will not expect them to do all of the assessments on the first day that they get back. It will be spread out maybe over the first week or so. But when we are preparing for tests or exams, we know that this is a bit big jump for the little ones as they come up to grade four. But to give you a bit of clarity on how this works, please note that for a term test, they will receive the content that they need to study a week prior to the test. This will be stuck in their homework book and the test notice must be signed by the parent. And this will also be placed on the parent portal or Google Classroom. 
When it gets to an exam, the content sheet will be given four to five weeks in advance. We will also be taking your children through a how to study session. Um, and we, when it gets to an exam, we will make sure to give them a little bit of guidance and help them draw up an exam study timetable. The returning of the assessments, the remediation and corrections, let's say there was a mistake on the test, the children will be doing those corrections in class. Now, if your son or daughter is at risk, the class teacher will contact you to discuss their results. Learners will file all of their assessments in their assessment files, which are to stay at school and please cannot go home under any circumstances. Class tests will be taken home for parents to sign, but the test must be returned so that it can be filed in their assessment portfolio. If there is any concerns, please do not hesitate to contact the teachers. Now, academic merits are based on a good standard of work, a nice test result, an improvement in their academic work where they were really trying their best, uh, where a child gets 80% or above, it all depends on the child's personal abilities, or if the child receives five merit dots, they will receive a merit certificate. When it comes to behavior, we do have a warning system that we use in class. Now the warning system is applied throughout and for five warnings, a child will get a demerit slip. We will make sure to communicate directly with you if troublesome or problematic behavior does pop up. Please note that you also need to go through the con code of conduct as some transgressions are a bit more serious than others. So learners might receive an instant demerit or a direct attention because of it. So in general, um, our outings is normally, are normally limited to about two outings per year, but due to COVID and the restrictions thereof, there's still a lot of uncertainty whether we will be able to do our outings this year. Class parties will be shown on the term calendar. Then of course, there are certain children that are allergic to nuts. We just want to ask if you can keep that in mind when packing lunch boxes as well. The cell phone policy for the grade fours, they are not allowed to keep their cell phones in their school bags. We do understand that sometimes cell phones have to come with the children because they need to make a phone call after school. But we want to ask if that you could please remind them to hand the phones in at the office in the morning. To end off, we want to say the grade fours are a great bunch of children and we want to encourage them to take responsibility for themselves and their learning. We know that this is a big jump and we know that it is a completely crazy topsy-turvy year, but we have full faith in each and every one of them and we know that this is going to be a good year. If there is a problem in class or if there's something that you're worried about, the first person to contact is the class teacher. If the class teacher is unable to help, then please make contact with the grade head, that is me. And if the grade head is unable to help, or if you feel that the response from the grade head is unsatisfactory, please only then contact senior staff or go to Mrs. Fasahi as the head of academics. Please also note that emails are a preferred method of contact as it is difficult for us to take phone calls during the school day. Thank you so much for your time. Abrahams and we are very excited to offer a diverse range of instruments at Canterbury Primary from saxophones to drums to piano. If you are interested in signing your child up for music, please fill in our online application. Or you are welcome to send an email to music at campsbayprimary.co.za. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Sass, the primary school sports coordinator. We're very happy to have our sports program fully underway. I hope everyone's thoroughly enjoying it. If there are any questions around sport at the primary school, please feel free to email me at sport at campsbayprimaryschool.co.za. Tuck shop is held every Friday at the school. Orders may be placed on the carry app every Tuesday before 1pm.